Welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to our third tutorial. On this one, we're going to add some structural members and some footings to our grid. Okay, so let's get started. So at this point, all of you should have the grid made ready. And so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do um, is select the orbit option from my navigation bar and just offset it a bit so I'm able to select all these individual points and every time as you can see right now orbit is selected and it's staying on the orbit and if you want to get out of it just press the escape key okay so first thing we're going to do is add structural members actually let's let's first things first let's switch our layer because we drawn the grid on the grid layer and now we're going to draw some footings so go right over here under the structure and on the layer section on the drop down menu choose footings perfect so we're on footings that means the footings layer is our current layer so you're gonna click on the footings and uh, once you click on it as you can see it's gonna ask you to specify the insertion point but we haven't defined what the footing uh, or what the size of the footing is so every time you make an uh, any kind of option uh, sorry choice or, or command or anything on AutoCAD the command line at the bottom it's always going to give you extra options so always uh, make a habit of reading it it says specify the insertion point of footing or you can click on settings so at the settings let's decide simply here um, it's a concrete setting I'm gonna use the ASTM standard because that's what I'm familiar with length of 600 width of 600 depth of 600 why not it's just for the argument's sake okay click ok and let's define one of the points okay perfect that's good and so it just made one um, but that's perfectly fine we can just select it and here I'll show you guys how to use the copy uh, the easiest way to use the copy command is start typing co or copc first option is shows up is copy one thing awesome about AutoCAD is and anytime you want to do something let's per say you want to rotate something so just start typing you don't have to select anything and uh, row and see rotate shows up um, it, it will show up right by the cursor and so you can you can choose which one applies to you and read the command line it would give you instruction on how to do it or if you just hover your mouse over it you'll give you more information and then if you wait a couple of seconds it would even get a bigger you'll get a bigger information like so as you can see in the screen and then you can also press F1 for more help and their help is actually very good I mean they walk you through it how to do anything so but currently we're just going to use the copy so let's choose CO and select that first thing it asks read your command line it says select objects so you can select one object or multiple objects right now we're just going to choose one object so we have just selected that and then it keeps on saying because it wants you to select more if you want to so just press enter then it will give you the second option it's going to say uh, specify base point or display spin mode so we're just going to not going to worry about display spin and mode right now we're just going to specify the base point so we're going to choose that as the base point and now you can just drag it to each of those base points as I'm doing right now and uh, don't worry if, if if your box is jumping about a bit just make sure this green thing pops up and your and your cursor is kind of snapped onto that and you will go there um, just uh, copy them just like I am showing it here and because that's will represent what our structure will eventually look like so let's go ahead and do that okay and then press enter or escape to get out now as you can see we have a little protrusion over here and this little bit so now we have our structures sorry the footings done now um, here I will show you an important thing right now you're in uh, if you go on the structure palette again and on the parts section um, there's a little drop down box here that says shape mode it's on shape mode if you go on line mode so it will only show a, a cross-sectional representation of your footing or uh, any structural member really in that case only one, one huge advantage of that is um, if it's not the actual 3d representation then you're able to select all the points all the nodes uh, easily otherwise uh, usually your the 3d objects are in, in 
in your way of selecting um, their center lines and whatnot. So we're just gonna keep it on the line mode here and the next thing we're going to do is add some structural members. Okay, first things first, we'll go to the structures and layers section and quickly switch to layers, uh, structure layers I mean. Okay, so now this indicates that uh, structures is our current layer. We're gonna click on member. Again, the moment I click on member, it asks me to specify the start point. But if you go to your command line there, you would see there's a setting options. We're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna choose a structural member. Now, I'm not uh, knowledgeable at all on the Dean standards for structural I-beams. So I just have selected one in random. Uh, if you are more knowledgeable, you can choose the one that would, or if you're a structural engineer, you should probably know which one should go on that. And choose one and pretty much click OK. Now it would ask me to specify a starting point. So I'm gonna click there, click over there, go across there, and go all the way down there and press enter to get out of that command. Now here you would see another line mode. So all it is is a cross-sectional um, re representation of your structural member. Um, so all it shows that, okay, there is a beam there. So if you want to see it, go back to shape mode and voila, you can see your structural member there. So let's zoom in. Um, as you can see, there's some um, interruptions and whatnot. Uh, we will fix that on our next video, but on this video, we're just going to place our structural models and deal with the editing and cutting and joining later on. Okay, so escape to get out of orbit mode. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy these three members three more times along this line. Okay, so again, I have selected them press CO oh see here's the point now if I were to select a point I can't really tell if it's the exact grid point or what am I selecting so that's why it's always beneficial to go back to line mode perfect so now I can still select my structural members by clicking on those I have selected all three perfect now I'm going to enter CO, copy is going to ask me to specify the base point. Now I'm going to specify this base point. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to copy it three times, once, twice, three times. Enter, escape. And now, so we have those three, uh, those four little, um, what can I say? little arches are done and now we have to do the one protruding there let's go ahead click on member again we're gonna start here go there go there go to the end enter we're gonna start we're gonna have to put a couple of members here one across there and one across there enter Oh, and we need to also do this once. Okay, so start over there. Um, don't worry if you're having trouble following through. I will show you exactly in shape mode what it should look like. Then you can figure it out yourself. Now, um, if you uh, on the model space, if you just right click, you can see you can repeat your last used um, last used command or function that you use. So for me it was my member or you can also see your most recent used uh, commands as well which is kind of cool okay so I'm gonna just finish this off quickly enter and let's show you in shape mode what it looks like ah so perfect and now you can see what it should look like all I have done is put some structural members there perfect and the last thing we need to do is put uh, structural members along this little lines here at the bottom where we can put a grading for a uh, walking area or or just uh, equipment area and whatnot oops I forgot to put it in line mode let's go into line mode 
Okay, perfect. So we're going to start. Why don't we start there? That to there to there to there to there to there. There. See, object snap is actually rather useful. Otherwise, um, you know, your drawings will never be perfect, really. And I still need to do the in internal bits. I'm going to repeat that again from there to there. Enter, repeat. Enter, repeat. Let's repeat that. Okay. Press escape to get out. And let's take a look at our final model for this tutorial video. Okay, so as you can see, we have this little, uh, I'm going to say L shape, inverted L shape, and we have the bottom bits, um, we have our footings. Now, uh, like I said, uh, there's lots of interruptions there. Uh, on the next video, I'll show you guys how to deal with that. Uh, if you do have any question, uh, please uh, ask me in class or or, or through the YouTube comments or anything you feel like. Okay, see you next time.